This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. IT skills are outdated in about 18 months. Stay ahead of the curve and future-proof your business competitiveness with customizable, entertaining training. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com slash twit for more information on a free two-week training trial for your team. So compared to, I, I did a, a write-up about all of the new features that are in this thing. I would say compared to the previous two moment releases, this is the least interesting um, hmm. from an end user perspective, because there isn't a lot of front facing UI change or, you know, new features that are super interesting, if that makes sense. Um, there is some stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I would say, I'm trying to think like, what would people actually notice? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. A lot. That, 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 that brings it down significantly. One of them is that the snipping tool is becoming the default action for print screen. I talked about that a week or two ago. So that's coming yeah. in moment three. Um, but a lot of it is just kind of UI revision stuff. Um, uh, this change to alt tab. So for example, alt tab today by default in windows 10 and 11 will take in the three most recent edge tabs in addition to all your open windows. Um, and then you could change it to don't show tabs, uh, five most recent tabs or all tabs. Uh, all, yeah. All tabs and windows. Um, now it's only going to be locked to 20 at the most. So it's 25 or three or none um, with, with some small changes to that UI. Um, I think that's a memory issue. Um, it probably has to do with sleeping tabs too. I, you know, edge by default will sleep tabs and they probably, it's probably hard to make those show up or whatever, or you switch to them and it's, it's a slow switch. Uh, we talked about access keys. Remember a few weeks back uh, that's coming. I, access keys is almost an accessibility feature. In fact, it may literally be an accessibility feature, even though they're not describing it as such. And what I mean by that is that most people will never see access keys ever. Mm -hmm. um, the way to see it <laughs> is to select something or nothing in the an Explorer window or on the desktop, and then hit the menu key on your keyboard if you have one. And that, um, you know, context menu oh, will look. appear. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it has access keys on it. So, and this is the the point behind access keys compared to shortcuts like keyboard shortcuts is that they're only one keystroke. So you can from that point, or not from that point. It's from not the control so you, V for view. It's just V once you're in that mode. It's just V. Yeah. So the idea is you hit A key to bring it up, then you hit A key to select something or move to the next level of the menu, right? Because so the, the view uh, choice is a good one because if you hit V, a sub menu will pop up off right. of it, and that too will have access keys on it, right? So you hit the menu um, key, then V, and you got the view menu. Right. Hit the menu key O, sort by menu. Yep. Now it's I notice there's capital, but capital E is the same as regular E. Yes, it's, it's not. Just, it's just the letter. Yeah, it's just you the don't letter have to e. hit that. Okay. Yeah, you don't. Have to so check. so menu E now refreshes whatever you're looking at. That's cool. Yeah. So menu key E to Ooh, refresh. Menu key D. Than... Menu key D people will use for display settings. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like um, in in Windows as a whole, uh, we're used to certain things. The control keyboard shortcuts, the alt keyboard shortcuts, and now I would say even the Windows key keyboard shortcuts are pretty familiar to people. Um, Windows key key shorts or key shortcuts are kind of weird. Um, some menu or some keyboards don't even have the menu key. You yeah, know? you know, I'm looking at my Lenovo. Uh, I yeah. don't. So I'll have to do shift. See, I'm never going to use shift F12D. So shift 11. Yeah, shift, shift. That one's tough because shift F11. Okay. I wrote shift 11, but it might be. No, you shift F11, then tap one of the. See, that's kind of annoying. Uh, so I'm never going to use that unless I have a menu key. But if you had a menu key, that's great. It's, yeah. Yeah. The problem I'm, is, I'm sure been, has the there been any the use for key? the menu key until now? <laughs> It just popped up well, the yeah, menu, it, right? It, well, it brings up the context menu. That was the, yeah. so. Um, you so a can lot make of the keyboards have eliminated it because it never did anything that valuable. It. Yeah. Well, it it's non. Yeah. Uh, I would say context menus are kind of non-discoverable, even though we've had this notion of right-clicking things yeah. in Windows since Windows ninety five, and before that in Office since Office whatever that was six, the one before Windows ninety five. Um, I. I don't know. Listen, we, pe most people don't know Control C is common. No, I so what know. Are, what I are know. we expecting of people here? But I, you know, <laughs> I think I'm probably fairly typical where I use the Windows key a lot and I yep. use the right click a lot, and those are kind of my go tos. Yeah, I uh, when I went back to college, I uh, worked in a computer lab, and and 
this had just happened. And so I, w I didn't know anything about the software, but I, someone would raise their hand. like, what's up? And they're like, I can't find this thing. And I'm like, did you right click it? And they're like, no. And then they're, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, see, there so you go. Cool. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you're really smart. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm a genius. <laughs> um, Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> just had no idea what that feature was, but it's just right clicking. It always seemed to help. Yeah. Um, anywho, beyond that stuff, I mean, honestly, uh, front facing, like, uh, you can add seconds to the second, uh, the uh, system clock. I think we talked about that a little bit. Um, and there really That's just isn't, there really is not much. This is not much. There is more stuff. I don't mean to say there isn't stuff. I'm just saying things that will impact the, most users and that they'll actually see and notice. Ugh, I mean, not much. I know. I always get excited when I see widget improvements. Yeah, they're not even in the initial release, so okay. <laughs> don't get too excited about that one. Two I mean, factor. I'm glad the USB four stuff has been in, in implemented. We don't have any hardware for it yet, but right, at least right. that's not going to hold us back. Yeah, you you get some USB four hardware. Yeah. Win eleven will run it. Well, maybe you'll get some USB four hardware uh, next week. Maybe mm. possible. Mm. I'm thinking I'll. I don't know what you're talking over, about. There, but, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> and neither does he. Yeah, uh, right. Um, I like this. Also, you know what? This is you. This is something on the um, that you get on a on an iPhone. Uh, mm -hmm. Two factor authentication code yeah. clipboard copy, where it automatically copies mm -hmm. the authentication code of the clipboard because you know you're going to need to be pasted in it. Because you're going to paste it. Yeah. Yep. That is nice. That's kind of nice. Especially nice. Right. Yeah, it is nice. Um, yeah, it's seconds it's in system, system clock. That's huge. You know, game changer. <laughs> game changer. People have been asking for that for a long time. <laughs> yeah. VPN status. They need to increment the version number. This is clearly clearly a massive. Clock. Yeah. With, now with seconds. Yeah. The one thing I'm I'm semi intrigued by, uh, and not only because they miswrote it <laughs> in in the UI, is this notion of presence sensing. A lot of computers have presence sensors in them and that that is something that detects when you walk up to and then leave the pc right mm -hmm. so windows today has very basic support for that there's this notion that you actually it's not even using a presence sensor you it can connect to a bluetooth uh, powered smartphone and if that thing leaves the area windows will say hey it looks like you're gone that's and great we'll lock the computer i love that it's okay it's okay um a better technology would be some kind of a camera like sensor that actually sees you yeah, hello could the ir that. device yeah, hey, yeah. Gotta, yeah, anything that can do hello. Yeah, if you've got a yeah. hello machine, so, you should be able to. Well, well, okay, so today the way that works is a PC maker has to implement the present sensing part of it. So in other words, the screen will come on as you approach it, then Windows Hello will kick in and see you, and then yeah. you'll be signed in. That's kind of a that's nice good. set of functionality. Yeah. Um, but that's not built into Windows yet. But now that present sensing is in Windows settings. I'm thinking they're going to be adding that capability directly to Windows. Which so this, should. this is part of Moment 3 as well. Yep. So Moment 3 that's, comes out Tuesday? When does it come out? Is that's it a, the thing. All right. So it, it technically comes out for everyone on Tuesday, June 13th. But because of the preview update schedule that we have now, right, that they just revealed back in I don't know, February, March, whenever that was, um, typically the preview version of this, which you have to go manually choose to so download. I might want to do that. I might want to flip that switch that I just got, yeah, right? So that should come out, well, if they follow the normal schedule, it'd be May 23rd, which is week D. Flip this here. But, this, is here this is here switch. Get the latest yeah. updates as soon as they're available. Well, so actually that's, gonna, that's an open question. So does that mean download a preview update? I don't think it does. Oh. I think you actually. I think you still have to manually download it. I okay. think what that is referring to is as we talked about this. This is the controlled feature releases, which are the one-off mini moments, right? Um, that go out. Actually, let's talk about the schedule because actually this this ties into this kind of next topic. <laughs> right? Another show title, is, by the way. One-off mini moments. Hold on. Let me let me write that yes. down. Yes. <laughs> um, well, because these things are all interrelated, right? So I, I, every couple of weeks now, I've been talking about how Microsoft is changing the way that they update windows right and they're, they're kind of formalizing this new strategy which they'll change in two weeks but here, here's where it is now <laughs> um once a year we get a feature update right capital yeah, f capital yeah, u yeah, this yeah. is a version upgrade yeah. um those things are deployed in the second half of a year and they use a kind of a logical system where they have known good configurations that should have the highest success rate with the feature update and they go to those computers first and then over time they let in more and more computers as they see more success and then eventually, some months later, four or five months later, this thing will be completely deployed. Meaning if your computer is compatible with that version of Windows, you will get it. There's nothing blocking it anymore. 
Um, once a quarter, they release this thing we just talked about, which is a moment, which is a series of feature updates. That's why there's a bunch of them, right? Um, it actually is not 100% clear how this thing is deployed. I, I think it is just deployed. In other words, that day comes, Patch Tuesday hits once a quarter. It will be installed eventually. You can go get it. You know, you can look at at, uh, at Windows Update to make it happen, but you could just sit there and wait, and it will eventually just be installed. It's mandatory. Here's right? your it's, moment. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But then between moments, <laughs> right, also between feature updates, I guess, we have these things called controlled feature releases. And these are released so far almost, almost every single month. I, they only skip January, as we discussed previously. Those are deployed randomly, which is crazy. Um, because there's no compatibility issue here. So they want to do it in little controlled waves and see, you know, make sure there aren't big mistakes. Not that that's ever stopped them. And then eventually they'll go out to everybody. And this is why you see some computers that have one feature and some computers don't. It's it's random how those things go out. And then I just threw this in here just to be complete. I mean, also apps are updated. They can be based. They can happen anytime, right? And An app could be updated literally every day if they wanted to. Um, so that's the system we have now. I actually think that moments and controlled feature releases are exactly the same thing, technically, right? That um, the only difference is the volume of updates and maybe how it's deployed. In other words, I don't believe that moments are actually deployed randomly. But then again, individual features in a moment could be deployed randomly. So maybe a moment is just a combination of several CFRs. Maybe. I don't know. This isn't anyway. confusing at all. No, listen, this is, uh, if I, it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have a career. This is what I live for. <laughs> so <laughs> this, this is what um, you were born for, Paul. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, it's, I help my, uh, it's my stepmother sort of watch a, uh, college graduation on her computer. And she was thanking me and thanking me and thanking me. And it was for my nephew. And I said, I listen, it's the only thing I can help you with. <laughs> if you if you if you needed electrical work or some screw thing and you know put in or some whatever, I can't do any of that stuff. No. This is all I can do. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah. It's like yeah. be grateful. I'm yeah. never gonna uh, never gonna be able to mow the lawn, but I can fix your computer.